All right, so say you want to change how this car works. Well, I've uh, I've got the car. I've taken it out of replicated storage, uh, although you don't have to. You can just do it from there. So we have a bunch of uh, attributes here in the car. So you can change the wheel density, uh, suspension here, uh, steering, and of course all the engine properties. So if we just put this back in replicated storage and we run the game normally. You can see we're in the car, and if we just open that in workspace, and, I don't know, we go onto engine, and we can change the acceleration to, like, 80. So, here we go. And now we're going twice the speed. Oh, well, we're speeding up at twice the speed. Uh, we also have, of course, other stuff. We've got deceleration, braking, uh, you know, just the stuff you can sort of figure out. Uh, if we go into suspension... You can see here you can change um well all the suspension properties um although i sort of just leave them how they are but i don't know that's a lot of ramp here and if we go up it you can see that we're uh sort of falling back down obviously because gravity now if we change the gravity you can see it <laughs> pushes the car down first of all because it's it's physics um based but it also means that the car falls faster so there you go um so yeah you can change the gravity if you want to sort of do that the wheels do go through right here so you might have to sort of change it a bit less there we go and of course make sure to you have to make sure to change the gravity back after so we're going to do that uh, so if you open up your car and then go into scripts and then client controller uh you can go up to the function called local function start controlling and if we just do uh game dot workspace dot gravity equals 280 and then we go down here to stop controlling and we do game dot workspace.gravity equals uh, 196.2 uh, which is the default gravity value uh, what we're able to do is every time we get in the car the gravity changes and since there's a local script it's only going to change for us there you go you can sort of see um gravity has changed we're going down a lot faster right here of course it's quite um it's quite high you, you can probably change it to be a bit less i don't know maybe like just 210 or something but yeah it's a fun way of sort of customizing this in fact i can't even get any air time on this at all let me try and yeah it's like impossible so yeah you can do that and sort of the rest of these values you can just sort of mess with yourself uh if you want to set an attribute if you want to do like uh, engine uh, and then set attribute and then you type in the name of the attribute so like acceleration or nitro time or max speed whatever you just type that in and then you do comma and then you type your value in here and this can be like a math op operation as well if you want so it can be like times two or whatever you can put anything you want in there as long as it's as long as it returns a number Uh, but yeah, that's sort of how you can do that. And you can change anything in here. Um, start Anything in start controlling will, will change uh, when you get in the car. And then when you get out, it fires stop controlling. So as long as you're setting your values back to what they were originally, after you um, change them in here, assuming the values aren't related to the car, of course, if they are, then you don't have to change them back. Uh, okay, so if you want to, like, customize the car, um, then if you go down into server script storage and car spawning, you can go into a uh, recolor model, or actually a uh, random color. And this returns a uh, random color. You can see it, it next number returns a value between 0 and 1. So if we just set this all to uh if we just hard code this all to return 111 that's just going to return red 
And if we go in here, and then we spawn this, you can see now it's red. So, yeah, normally it'd be a random colour. If you don't want it to be a random colour, you can, I don't know, you can make like a array of colours. So if we do like colour3.new111 one, 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 or colour3.from uh, HSV, you can do any other one as well, it's fine. And then colour from, and then we do like 0.5111, one, one, one. so make it blue. And yeah, make sure you put a comma on each of these. And we'll go 0 0.2 and 0.6. You can have as many of these as you want. And then if we just return colors, uh, math.random uh, hash colors. There we go. We're just going to return one of these four random colors. All right, so there you go. You can see we're just returning these random colors that we've uh, assigned. Now, if you want to change the car physically, like, I don't know, the shape of it, uh, I'm not really going to show you how to 3D model, because uh, I, I don't know how, but there are a few things you can still do within Roblox, so, like, if you want to go into here, I suppose you can, like, change the size if you really want to, or stuff. Oh, that's, uh... Yeah, if you really want, you can, like, just change the size properties or whatever. As long as everything's still welded to the middle, you're going to be fine. Uh, of course, everything here is a mesh. So if you just change the mesh ID, uh, that's, of course, another way. All right, so anyway, that's about it. Just thought I'd sort of showcase how to customize the cars a bit more. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, if you all enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, then uh, comment them down below. I'll try and answer them. And, uh, yeah, I'll see, you in the, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.